In this guide, we will go over the first of the Crota Ends challenges, which is the conservation of energy within the Abyss Encounter. The crux of this challenge, and it's fairly easy if you use what I'm going to talk about in this video, is that you can only enlighten at a to totem that has a preservation spot. That does not mean that you have to enlighten at everyone. That means that you can only do it that. And obviously, you have to unlock all the preservation spots to allow the bridge to be built to finish the encounter. A couple recommendations I'm going to make here is first off, you want to turn off all the thrall if possible, especially if doing this master. To do this, I would recommend running Strand with an Eager Edge Sword. If you have Navigator with a Catalyst, that's great to create grapple points. Or just have everyone run a Strand Hunter and drop constant grapples with your super to mark the path. So again, if you go to each level, so in other words, if I show this map, there are three levels to the encounter. If you go up basically to the top of each of those, the level below will despawn. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can go to each level first, go to all the way to the top of the first level, and then all the way to the top of the end. Or you can work backwards. Either way, all the spawn will stop continuously spawning. Whichever ones were still there will still go through, and the big yellow thrall will still spawn. However, you will be it'll make this encounter much easier. Obviously, as you're working forward, you're going to have to everyone juggle the buff if you don't want to have a million enlightenments. Because since you're only stopping so often using enlighten, you're going to eventually get to the point where you can't pick up the buff. For the first lap, and then three to five lamps afterward, a lamp will have a preserve spot. Easy to figure out if you're moving forward and you don't see a lamp lighting up, you know there's a preserve spot there. Again, folks will grapple will help there, especially if they're staying ahead. Preserve, and then decide if you want to enlighten or not. You really don't have to enlighten anywhere on the map if you don't want to. Obviously, if you don't have Strand, another way you can do this is with Arc, but again, Strand, having someone constantly going forward and creating those grapple points is going to make this super easy. If you do have Strand, just be careful about holes and swinging lamps as you're going forward. Do this, go to the bridge, finish the encounter, and you're done. Not a terribly difficult challenge, but it does require some coordination, and on Master, obviously, turning off the Thrall is going to be important. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.